Good evening, good afternoon, good morning, everybody. Everybody. <laughs> everybody. Um, welcome to the stream. I hope everyone's well tonight. It's taking us a little... What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, I, I think you should get down from there, uh, dear. You, you gonna hurt yourself there. Come on now. It's kind of silly right there. What, what, what are you doing here? Uh, I think you need to, uh, to get down. Yeah, I don't want to have to do this, but I think this is going to be the only way we get you down from here, girl. Well, um, I guess it's venison for dinner. Ah, <laughs> uh, shit. I thought I'd just get rid of that because that's kind of immersion breaking. <laughs> um, riding into town and you see that. Absolutely nailed it in the face there, though. That's um, good signs that my aim is not complete trash still. We'll just walk into town with this sucker and sell her. So the plan tonight is going to be to go over to Valentine and pretend to buy our um, coach whilst um, hopefully we've got Doobie and Chansu and uh, a few other people to RP with as well on tonight. I haven't actually checked the player list. Let's have a quick little... Uh, shit. Oh no, Doobie's there, there we go. Um, oh, there's Chansu as well, cool, cool. So yeah, we're, um, we're gonna take this sucker over to the uh, to the butcher. I don't know why I'm, why am I fucking walking over there? I can literally just put him on the back of Lucky here. Still laughing at the fact that um, thing had spawned on the roof. Just red dead things. <laughs> I have seen bears on rooftops. I have seen wolves on w rooftops. So it stands to reason that you find a deer on the roof as well, right? <laughs> doing today sir I found this uh, this lady a little bit lost on the rooftop over there I thought I'd bring her in maybe you can uh, you can do something with her what do you think sir it's uh, three dollars I'll take that take that all day long we go you can have that uh, maybe I need to clean myself up Is that going to get rid of the blood? No. What's that? Uh, oh shit. That's, that's quite nice. I like that we've got an animation for that now. Mm, black screen. Um, it should be okay, mate. Um, cause it looks it looks all right on my on the Streamlabs. You might just have to do a refresh. Um, Get a move on, will you? But it should be all right. Let me know if it doesn't work after the refresh. But um. As far as I can tell, it should be alright. What's happened, noobs? Oh, sorry, I didn't see that you've hosted me as well. And uh, Glasgow, thanks for the host as well. 
did you lose your spot in the server or something? What's um? Yeah, I'm guessing. All oh, right. Oh shit, man. Oh, that's a shame. We were going to go over and um, and pick up the uh, the wagon. Well, not the wagon, the coach. I was still, I was still going to do that, but um, yeah, I'm going to call in and just see if uh, and he's here, I suppose. Hmm. My bit rate isn't. Well, maybe it's I don't know if it's is it down to the resolution or something because it's 900p. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what that's about. I'm gonna get a buggy. <laughs> Yeah, we um, we bought some clothes for driving in. If you see what I mean, because yes, um, was it yesterday or the day before? Is the day when I was playing, um, and um, Trink came on and gave me a hundred dollars um, for the business. Um, I think you were on very close to the beginning of it. Um, I don't know why it's um not working then for you. Oh fuck, have we got a local out there that wants to fight again? Why do they always pick on me? It's <laughs> Hello there, Mr. Clifford. How are you doing today? Oh, I'm uh, I'm doing okay, Penny. How are you? I'm doing all right. <laughs> oh, that's good to hear. Hi. Is it raining outside? It sounds like it. Yeah, it uh. It's kind of pouring down out there right now. Oh, would you uh, would you like something? Oh, uh, I wouldn't mind a beer actually if you uh, you have one there. All right. Thank you kindly. Big guy from the Green Mile. Um, yeah, John Coffey. So I actually that that might there you are. You might be subliminally right with them. I might have picked up the uh, the voice there in in the back of my mind a little bit. Ooh, uh, how much do I owe you for that, Penny? Oh, sorry. Uh, that's two dollars, please. You say uh, two dollars? Yes, sir. All right. Bear with me. Penny Morgan, two, no, two dollars. There you oh, go. Thank you very much. Mr. Johnson had to call it a very early night. Oh, right, he, uh, he have to go out of town on business? Um, not really. He just, he had to bed. Oh right, Very yeah. Unfortunate. I think I understand. Mm. <laughs> I always just do a little point just to sort of like make it look kind you of authentic. Said that, um, I could do some recruiting today if I wanted to. Oh right. Well, I was planning on riding over to uh, to Valentine maybe to uh, purchase my own uh, coach. Now that that lady, <gasps> uh, you know, the other day she gave me a little bit of money. Uh, kind really? Of, uh, she did? Yeah, well, I don't want to say how much it was. I mean, it was a real kind gesture, let me just say that. But, uh, oh, yeah, my. It, it gave me enough, basically, to be able to uh, buy my own. So I'm oh, thinking I go wonderful. over there and have a little uh, bargaining with the uh, with the man who sells the wagons there and uh, we see uh, see what kind of price I can buy my coach for. That sounds perfect. Mm. So happy for you. Yeah, it feels like uh, things are falling into place, you know. 
<laughs> Might have to uh, call by and uh, see if my father's there as well. Maybe I can show him what I've, uh, what I've made of myself over the last couple of months. Oh, I'm sure he will be proud of you. Well, you'd, you'd think so, but I think sometime he, uh, you know, you feel like maybe he, uh, he could have done more for himself and maybe, you know, you um, feel a little bit, uh, a little bit envious maybe that, uh, he ain't never get out from the, uh, the pig farm. Oh, really? Hmm. I mean, it's, you know, it's, he, he loved that kind of thing anyway. I mean, I, I never really liked, well, that's uh, good. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I never really liked rooting around and you know, all the muck and the mud all the time, and you know. I can understand that. But I love the animals, but uh, yeah, it, it ain't it ain't what I want to do with my life. And he knew that all the, all along. But I think mm. sometime, you know, he uh, he feel like uh, maybe he could have done something different with his life. So he, you know, that's maybe why he pushed me to get out from under his feet all the time, you know, try not to be so comfortable in that place. Well, that was good to him. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure, you know, his his heart is in the right place, you know. Mm, Just sometimes sure. he have a funny way of telling people. And... Uh. <laughs> he was, uh, he's always been difficult like that, you know, he don't like to show no emotion or Sometimes he don't even like to show that he love you, you know, but, uh, oh, I know, my. I know, I know deep down he, he does and, you know, he, mm. he appreciate me and I appreciate him as well because, you know, he's taught me a lot of lef lessons in life. Mm. Some people just have a hard time showing love, you know? Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. He's definitely one of them folks and, uh, ever since he you know, had that problem with them bandits a while back here. Uh, you don't oh. really like uh, showing much emotion to nobody. You don't even like coming out. Mm. Most oh, of the time, my. you know, if uh, if you go up in the uh, in the farm there and ask if uh, you can do some work for him, he'll be running out the back before you can uh, before you can speak to him or hiding upstairs in the little loft space we have there. Oh my goodness! <laughs> yeah. You know, he hmm. become a little bit scared of his own shadow at times. Oh, that's a shame to hear. Hmm. Well, it's, it's understandable, though. I mean, you know, all that happened when I was Dude. quite a lot younger, and there was nothing I could do about it. And I was, I was away with my mom at the moment, at the time, and you know, she, uh, she and I came back and found him, you know, sort of cowering away, and you know. I think it's the the only time I ever seen tears on my father's face. <gasps> you know, he uh, he always been a strong man like that. You know, he always believe you don't men don't cry about nothing in front of nobody. But uh, mm. came through that door and he was he was torn up. Oh my! Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> Gotta get it's used to right. putting them down here, but uh, <laughs> just you know, I kind of treat it like it's still the uh, farm, and I can just throw it away, and you know, <laughs> force of habit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think that's probably the way you you'd say it. <laughs> so, did you uh, you want to come with me when I go over to uh, to Valentine, or uh, you want to stay here and? Hope uh, some business come through. I would love to come with you. All right. Well, yeah, right, I'd I'm I'd appreciate uh, someone to... to ride with me. Yeah, I'm just going to change. Yeah, no problem, no problem. Yeah, that's Cliff's. Cliff's father's story is kind of a little bit um, sad. I'm I'm making it up on the spot essentially, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling like um, that bandit thing was a, a moment in his life where he um, he really sort of 
lost himself as a man, if you see what I mean, in some respects. There we go. <laughs> right, let's, uh, let's mosey on out, I guess. All right. I should really get a notebook so I can write some notes outside if there are customers when I'm not here. Oh, I think they probably sell that over at the uh, the general store there. Hey, you okay oh, there, Henry? That's perfect. Oh, we uh, tending to the flowers today. Oh, that's perfect. <laughs> Do you need some yeah. work? <laughs> well, I think my uh, luck is over here, actually. Little ginger boy penny. <laughs> With the flat cap cap on, you could kind of mistake her for um, a, a kid, couldn't you? In some respects, I think. But yeah, thanks everyone for um, for joining as well. Over, I'm assuming most have come across from uh, from Doobie's very brief stream. <laughs> it's a shame that um, it went south so fast for you. I mean, I, I don't know if... Um, do you think if um, your boy goes off fairly quick you'll get back on or um, are you just going to call it for the night and chill out? You want to call in at the store just to see if you... Uh, you can get a, a notebook here. Yes. <laughs> All right, no worries. Me, uh, just go and get a little bit of money out of the bank. All right. Actually, I don't know if we really need to get any money out for anything, but it's just an excuse to go and hitch up, get ourselves ready. Calling it for tonight, too much hassle getting him back to his room. Ah, oh. it's typical, mate. It's like um, yes, yesterday when I was on, um, I barely saw anyone. I did see Sean in town. Actually, I'm not going to take any money out at the moment. I want to keep that hundred bucks in there at the minute, so we know what we've got. But um, yeah, I saw Sean in Valentine, but he was deep in conversation with a a girl. Um, and I didn't I didn't really want to just go and insert myself into the situation and be like hey how are you doing mr. Chapman's you know or whatever because um, we've met him briefly um, even though the day before we'd um, we'd kind of given him uh, a ride or not a ride a um, coach journey over to to Saint Denis um, I was knackered last night as well mate to be honest with you um, I stayed up for a reasonable amount of time, but as I say, it was kind of like, um, got to a point where I was a little bit like, not running into yep. any RP and stuff, so I just thought, well, they're saying that, yeah. Easy. We'll call it fairly early. You wanna go write a note over there? I'm gonna just get lucky over here and buy a couple of supplies if, uh... Alright, sounds perfect. Alright, I'll, uh, I'll see you in I'll a couple right of moments. Mm -hmm. But yeah, with, um, with RP, like, I'm kind of like that. No, I mean, not always, obviously, not every character is going to just sort of st stand off or whatever, but, um, I kind of figure, like, I'm not, um, I'm not just going to go and insert myself and, especially in, like, large groups, that kind of thing, because there was, um, there was about six or seven people stood outside at one point as well, and I sort of walked through and, you know, said hello to to them as I walked past and stuff. But no one really wanted to get involved. So, um, a couple of moments <laughs> is what I was saying. But thanks for the follow, Mr. Flynn. Um, but yeah, um, Jenny's place got held up again. This whole place has gone to hell I, um, in a I thought like I didn't want to just like hang around and wait for someone to come over and like chat and stuff because Cliff yesterday basically was the the idea was that we were sort of learning how to drive the coach 
effectively, if you see what I mean. So um, we spent a lot of time just driving from point well, to point, and me, um, me and uh, Glasgow were sort of putting the world to rights and having a bit of a chat and chilling out and stuff. So it was um, it was a relaxed one, and um, yeah, it was nice. But uh, as I say, as a side effect, we we didn't really get much RP, unfortunately, because everywhere I went, I went to Emerald Ranch because I thought like. Um, I'd have a little wander through there and just see how people over there are doing. Um, and then we came back to Rhodes. There was no one in Rhodes, like not um, not even way at the gun store. In fact, I was kind of thinking maybe I should go and just see if he was in there. But um, so yeah, he wasn't. He wasn't online. Yeah, I'm doing just fine, thank you. But yeah, he wasn't online, so um, <laughs> it sounded like months. Is, I was like, is that a metaphor like GTA for time in jail? Or yeah, <laughs> jail time. Like I don't know. So, like I think people forget how long like the jail sentences are and stuff for their character sometimes. Because like there's ones where I've seen them like they get. 20 years and stuff and it doesn't affect their character at all like if i if i get like a super long jail time sentence with like any of my characters i'm gonna make i'm gonna go back into the creator and age them a bit like give them graying hair and stuff like that maybe if they're you know in sort of their 30s or 40s and stuff and they come out and it's like they should be technically like 50 years old or something by now and i need to like give them more gray hair or whatever um but yeah, some people are just like, yeah, not, not on it in that same way. If you see what I mean. What the fuck? Is this guy. Oh, watch out! Hey, that, uh, that guy over there is getting a bit rowdy. Oh. He was just pointing his gun at me there. Really? Yeah, you don't see that guy over there. He uh, just riding out of town. Now he, he antagonizing the guy over there. Oh my! Look at him on his horse. You think he's some kind of big shot? Seems like it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the the jail terms and stuff like that. If I ever get a big jail term on a on a dubious character or whatever, I'm gonna age them and shit will have changed them and stuff like that. So if they're like a real bad person, they might decide like to be a bit more. Cautious Hello, and clever sir. about things. Welcome to the Red Mill Parlor House. Will you be dining in the restaurant today or is it drink set aside? Give me a goddamn whiskey. Um, yes, sir. Is that um, Monroe? Nice to see you again, Cliff. Oh, uh, hey, how you doing, Monroe? Evening. Fine. That's good to hear, my friend. Um, I'm sorry, we don't have any whiskey. Uh, Hello. Uh, sir? sir? I, I don't think he, uh, I don't think he's really fine, you know what I mean? Uh, yes. He didn't look fine. Oh my. Yeah, I don't think it's anything you said or did, uh, Penny. I wouldn't worry about it, but, uh, Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Monroe was definitely something's just happened to him that's well, really fucked him up, obviously. Going, then. Yeah. Well, I suppose faster we uh, we go over there, the faster we can come back and maybe try and find uh, some Hello. people to serve. Hmm. Wonder what happened to uh, to Monroe to make him angry like that. Mm. Uh, something definitely didn't seem right. Yes, I know.
So, uh, did you get your, uh, your picture yet? Oh, I haven't checked yet, actually. H have you gotten it? I don't believe so, actually. I haven't, uh, checked my telegrams either. Oh, I see. <laughs> Maybe we should do that before we, uh, we leave town. If we, uh, yes, we can I am probably curious. go to the, uh... Yeah, maybe over at the, the, the station over here. Alright, let's do it. <laughs> she is small, yeah. It does look like a small child riding a, a, a reasonably sized horse. <laughs> Imagine what she'd look like on a shire. <laughs> it's like it would absolutely dwarf her. going to get out of the way of this fella here. Oh, I can't hitch. Dang it. Dang it, Bobby. there was a door here, if I'm being honest. What was, hang on, was there a job there? What was that prompt? Something just came up then. Hmm. Uh, do we need to go outside for it? Is it over? We've ever register an alias. Um, don't have enough money. Oh, okay. Well, um, <laughs> I don't know how much it is actually. I think I did this once before when I was Miguel and um, personal open. We've not got any by the looks of it. No, no. Well, don't look like uh, she sent the, uh, the telegram yet, anyway. Hmm, doesn't seem like it. What she look like on a zebra? Have dunk? like an alias <laughs> first. Uh, honestly, I'm not uh, not really sure. I need to I need to sure speak to someone who know either. how uh, how these telegrams work. Mm. I figured, you know, maybe they they can just send it to your name and. Uh, so forth, but maybe you uh maybe you have to have a an alias or whatever. Yes, I was thinking the same thing. I I hope we didn't have to have one first. I hope she could still send them to us. Oh, I'm uh, I'm sure if uh, if we didn't have one set up, you know, maybe she can uh, send one to us. You know, down the line, maybe. Like a couple Hopefully. of days or whatever, but uh, yeah, I don't have uh, I don't have the money on me actually to uh, to register one right now. I didn't see how much it cost. I'm not sure. I don't know. Maybe uh, maybe an alias mean like uh, another name that you go by, and you know people can send it to your real name or whatever. But uh, maybe they, oh, if maybe. you want to stay like. Uh, what do they say? They incognito. Maybe uh, you have a yeah, yeah, like anonymous, right? Maybe you have like a uh, an alias then, maybe. Mmm, that makes sense. Good call, dudes. <laughs> but yeah, I would have thought that's probably the case. I mean, I <clears throat> I oh, registered well, at least tried. <laughs> I registered Miguel once because I thought that's what we had to do, and like. I just thought like maybe it's easier just to have Miguel as the name or whatever, but um, don't know if that makes any difference. Yeah, I never really used the the Where Telegram system to be honest with you, bud. Um, it was funny yesterday, um, well, a couple of days ago now, when Sean was with us, he was talking about um, 
using the telephone and stuff and Alexander Graham Bell and I was just like I don't think um, <laughs> I don't think my character would know about telephones and stuff like that at the moment he's, he's not the sort of person that would have lived in a house that would have had a telephone well uh, maybe we'll uh, head on over to Valentine and hopefully find some people over there I can talk to about uh, maybe hey, giving them a coach ride or day today, huh? you can talk to them about maybe if they want to work at uh, the place there what kind of jobs yeah. he he talking about maybe like security work and that kind of thing oh I didn't hear him say that he just said uh, barmaids and waiters all right so I suppose we're focusing on that first maybe yeah I guess, I, could mention I guess. gods maybe uh, I'm not sure yeah it might be worth us uh, you know, if we see anybody we think maybe might be in that kind of line of work, maybe we can uh, say to them also, maybe, you know, it, there may be some work for them. How many times can I say maybe? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Researching never listens. Alias is just if you want a different name, I think. I'm taxing her pay. <laughs> What did you what did you say to her out of character then? Was it um Do you know the way just to get uh, I'm still just not to get security and uh, anyone basically. The place. <laughs> Haven't been there much yet. Well um I find actually if we uh let's go along the train track here a little bit. Kinda cuts the uh, oh, the corner right. off of the journey here, but uh, yeah, I know my way around uh, these parts fairly well. It's once I get up to <laughs> Very good. Once I get much further than um, Valentine or uh, you know Van Horn, uh, no. Uh, it's kind of like it's kind of north of uh, uh, Saint Denis, the place oh, over there, that that city we were we were at the other day. Mm. But yeah, if you uh, you go along the uh, the coast up that up that east coast, uh, you'll find Van Horn, and eventually you get to uh, to Ansburg. Oh, I see. I don't know those areas particularly well. I just said far and waiting well, stuff. Perhaps you'll get to know them better when you're driving people around. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, I still need to learn. Uh, you know the ways around uh, Saint Denis. I mean, when we were there with uh, Mr. Chopins the other day, kind of make me feel nervous because I'm, um, you know, I didn't really know where I was meant to be going, and he's there saying, you know, you, we got to go to the cemetery, and you know, well, this 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 gallery place, and I didn't know where the hell he meant. Okay, there, sir. Hopefully your customers will know where to go, and I'm sure they will understand. Yeah, yeah. I mean, once I learn like the main streets, you know, that's that's the key to it all. I think, but uh... exactly. Like, uh, yeah, I feel like maybe it's uh, one of them places, you know kind of got a lot of places like hidden away unless you know all the names of all them shops it's uh, it's gonna be hard to know everywhere but like you say if uh, the people know where they want to go and you know they can kind of direct me when I get there I can I'll learn it soon enough mm. you don't hear no trains coming back there right Yeah, I used to uh, use this fair amount when I was uh, working for my pa. Places just down there to the left. Yeah, I find the uh, the train track actually, you know, it's a lot a lot faster than most of the uh, most of the paths around here. Mm, kind of more. Yeah more direct, you know? Exactly, and it's a, a good way to, well, not get lost. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, it don't help to uh, to not know the pathways. Maybe, you know, I'm going to have to learn a few of them also, but uh, 
I know the the main pathways from you know Rhodes to Valentine and Emerald Ranch and into Saint Denis and around that kind of area around Braithwaite Manor and all that down the south of Rhodes. Hmm, well that's good. Yeah, uh, you know, if someone asked me to go over to Blackwater, I mean, I kind of know my way there, but uh, I ain't really, you know, know the, the best route there, you know. Oh, I see. Blackwater before, so the big city. Uh, I'm not too sure. Most of the people I talk to uh, say it's like a, it's a town, you know, a little bit bigger maybe than uh, than Valentine. Oh, I see. Hello there, sir. Hey, Kuda. How you doing, buddy? How you doing? All right. I'm gonna have the. I've had a good week, etc. You know, I found the strangest thing earlier on. Oh, sorry, I really? don't over this way, but yeah, the um, place I stay at, like uh, there was a deer on the roof. Yeah. I have no idea. <laughs> yeah, that I uh very strange. I tried to help it down, but uh, you know, trying to scare it so it would maybe jump off the roof, but uh didn't want to move and it kept like trying to run away from me but it wouldn't jump off the roof. So oh, uh I kinda helped it out, Poor you know. Thing. Oh don't worry, it's well, uh good. It's all right. She doesn't know that I okay, killed it. <laughs> Threw it. I shot it in the head and with the uh, the revolver, just to uh, to test the thing out, um, and also to stop people's um, immersion being broken if they rode past that. But yeah, I, th I thought better not to tell Penny that I've just murdered a, a deer in cold blood. <laughs> Horse Dan near rolled into me there. <laughs> Good girl. Hey, partner. Hey, Bob. How are you doing today? Oh, okay. Oh, damn. Oh, oh. Are you alright? Yeah, you alright there, son? Sorry, sir. Yeah, I'm okay. Thanks. Oh, my. Oh. <laughs> I love it when people get kicked into the dirt. It's great. <laughs> well, it's good when it's not me. Yeah, I think maybe we uh, don't want to go near that horse. You seem kind of badly behaved, right? Twin Rocks, New Ulster. I was uh, I was going to ask you actually what uh, the name of your horse was, if you if you have oh, a name it's for a, it. It's Millie. Millie. Ah, that's a nice yes. name. <laughs> What's the name of your horse? Oh, uh, lucky! Uh, oh, on account right. of uh, <laughs> yeah, on account of he were one of the only horses left in the uh, the stable over in Blackwater that I could afford. I did a delivery for uh, this guy Bobby he over in town uh, down that a ways, and uh, yeah, he uh, he sent me to his buddy over there near near the Blackwater, and uh, yeah, I, he only gave me seven bucks, but. That seven bucks was actually enough for me to be able to afford uh, Lucky there, so that's why I call him Lucky. What kind of horse is he? I was actually trying to find a, well, small horse since I'm pretty small. 
Oh, you would have liked the mule I had. Uh, I found uh, found this mule over Caliga Hall. Um, you know, kind of south. Uh, well, we we went past it actually on the way to uh, to San Denis the other day. Oh. It's that big building yeah. over to the left. Um, as you go out of roads and you you know where we turn right onto that road, and we uh, carried on round like you know did a long, like a long left hand corner. It was uh, all around in there is uh, Caliga Hall. I see. Yeah, you don't want to go riding around there too much though. The uh, the people over there they uh, they kind of take exception, you know. Uh, oh, all right. <laughs> It's not my, I'm gonna go get myself uh, maybe a couple of dollars so that I can uh, buy a beer in here. I don't want to feel like I'm, you know, just mooching around and not buying anything from this lady here. And I just realized I gave you my uh, my last two dollars, but uh, um, I'll be right back, okay? If you uh, you want to meet me at the bar, maybe speak to a couple of these people. Maybe you uh, you can maybe you can talk to that lady at the bar. Maybe if she wanna. You know, a second job over in uh, the saloon, sure maybe. Oh, All right. maybe. Yeah, or maybe if she, uh, if she any good at cooking, maybe she, a, she better than yeah, Theodore, you know? <laughs> maybe. All right, well, I'm going to go uh, get a couple of bucks, and I'll, uh, I'll see you in a moment, all right? All right. Okay. What the... Oi, motherfucker. Oh, oi. What are you trying to do, boy? Oh my god. Hands in up. The fucking... In the general store. Want? Follow us. Come on. Go to Oi. the general store. To the right. Now. Oh, man. Hey, hey, hey. Walk faster, sir. Faster. I'm walking walk as fast faster. as I can, I my friend. I got a gun to your back, sir. Yeah. If you don't walk faster within two seconds, I'll blow your ass off. All right? All right, all right, all right. All right. I'll stop. Fucking hell. Thank you, sir. Right there, also. sir. That's about right. Also. Don't do nothing stupid here, fella. I'm not. No, no. Well, it's your heart on the left or the right side, sir. What do you mean? No, is is your heart on the left or the right side of your chest? Well, it'd be on the left. But... All right. I got the left side then. All right. Shouldn't have told me that. Henry, you get the right side as well, just in case you lied to us. Uh-huh. Wait, what are we talking about? Uh, uh, where his heart is. What? Hey! <laughs> oh, shit! Planning on shooting Damn. Whoa! What the fuck was that for? Well, what? Flying? What are you doing, man? Hello! What do you mean? Fuck you! Okay, I changed my mind. I don't even know your asshole now. Oh, oh my god, you're picking him up? Oh my god. Just get it to him over here, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Sorry, sir. Hey! Hey! Oh. Oh. Damn, what the hell? Say, so, what's your name, sir, huh? My name's Cliff. Cliff, What's nice your name? You. My name's Henry, sir. Nice to meet you. Pleasure. Alright. Look, Henry, I ain't... I'm gonna try and do nothing, alright? You know... I hope not. If you do, I'm gonna blow your fucking brains out, huh? Yeah, okay, okay. You make your point. I'm just okay, gonna lie good. here. That's you, what I like to hear. You do what you need to do, my friend. Thank you, sir. Much appreciated. <laughs> this got fucking crazy pretty Say, quick. Yeah, they fucking move a muscle, huh? I ain't moving. Hey, hey, I ain't moving. You're clearly struggling you there, in there. I ain't struggling, my, my friend. I'm you're telling speaking. you right now, I ain't struggling. Who the fuck just spoke, huh? Oi. Who's out there? Huh? How's it going behind the kind? Oh, it's quite alright. I gotta grab all these quarters. <laughs> so this this trip to Valentine went south pretty fast. All the government's money. All of it. And we throw it in the river. Yep. <laughs> They're gonna take the money and throw it in the river. I'm just gonna grab a swig of tea whilst uh, this is going on. It's getting kind of cold on me. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, calm down there, kid. Sorry. Hey, sir. Stress. So he's, he's already he's given his name, all right? He's not in a good mood. Calm down. Calm down. I tell you to calm down. Still. I ain't moving. I ain't moving. Please, still. 
I am late still. I can't. I can't lay much more still than this, my friend. I mean, Jesus. Oh my God. I am laying still. Hell's wrong with these people, man. Wait. Wait a minute. Did you take priority before we went in here? Oh. Yeah, that's a yes. Ooh, whoa. Hey. Yes, you. Who else? No. No, you didn't. No, oh, okay. I didn't no. Well. Are you saying I'm like I'm on drugs? Get your hands up. A little bit. Yeah, you're awful edgy to get today, guys. Say, say, what's your favorite sweetie? Huh? Oh, well, yeah, yeah, what's My your favorite, favorite sweetie? What? Sweetie? Is it Sarah? If you say Sarah, I'm gonna blow your head off. I ain't, I ain't never really liked uh, sweets that much. I like, uh, Fuck. like, I like chocolate in my, uh, my coffee every so now and then. What is a sweetie, sir? What the hell? Yeah, I, I thought you meant like them bonbon kind of things you see those French people eating. Hey, bonbons. bonbons. Yeah, yeah, bonbons, they're my favorite. Give them some Ooh, bonbons. Uh, you got any bonbons on you? I ain't got no bonbons, I'm afraid, Give my friend. Give them the goddamn bonbons. <laughs> Grab some I think, bonbons. Uh, only thing I have on me is some bread and some baked beans, maybe. Yeah, I grabbed all the You sure about that? Huh? I'm got, I'm got bon bonbons. Ah, yeah, on. yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure, yeah. No. No bonbons on me, my friend. You can check. I ain't got no bonbons. I believe you. I believe you. I believe you. For now. Oh. What do we have on us? Mm, I really some, yeah, some baked beans and some bread. <laughs> grab some more of them, just in case. All right. Okay. I'll probably grab this, this big wedge of cheese to my right. <laughs> so it kind of stays. Hey, 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 sir! Uh, get the fuck out of here! Oi! Oh, fuck off! Get the fuck out of here! Off. This is nuts. <laughs> it's the first time I've been involved in any of this kind of criminal RP. I ain't, I ain't squirming, my friend. I ain't squirming. Hello, Carter. How are we, huh? Oh, boy. Is that you, Henry? Oh, yes, sir. How are we doing this fine morning, huh? Out, out of character. I didn't oh, know this doing? character. Henry is a bit of a little shit. You doing good, but, um, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> He's gonna be going yeah, back doing? to Sissica again. <laughs> so, um, my name's Willow. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Willow. Nice to I'm Henry. Henry Anderson. Pleasure. Pleasure. So, uh, what's going on today? We're just gathering some sweeties and some materials for our, our camp, and then and then we'll be out of here. We'll be out of your face. It's fine. We won't be too long, if that's okay. Up, Henry? Um, so who's the fella you got on the floor? Em, what is your hey, fucking name? Huh? You stay out of here. You my stay name, out uh, here. my name's Clifford. Clifford, are you Clifford. All right? Well, yeah, I mean he slapped me in the face, but I'm I'm okay. He just tied okay. me up a little I bit tight there. Lay still. I'm laying still, my friend. Stay I can't. Here. I'm trying to I'm trying my to move to a comfortable right position and kind of you know trust up Don't like this. It. Don't worry about it, other Here's all the people looking at us. Fuck off! Alright, everybody, this isn't a show. Go on. Alright, let's keep it simple. <laughs> I'll keep it simple. Have restless though. legs in. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, uh, what can I do to convince you to come on out with your uh, hands up and the guns away? I'd like this to be as peaceful as possible. Well, I won't you. the fuck you. away! Uh, yeah. You could walk away. I won't shoot you. We won't do anything to our nice man here, Clifford. We won't hurt. He's a nice man. He's a very good gentleman. Uh, that's about it, yeah. As long as we don't get fucking shot! Uh, who's your other friend? <laughs> I'm Righty! Righty Lucy! Oh, it's nice to meet you. I'm Willow. Oh, yes! Mum suffers from that. Well, Makes her jittery. Uh, I can guarantee you, if you do yeah. not shoot us, we will not shoot back. So, uh, how well, about you put the guns this, away? This could be... <laughs> hey, we want this could be some crazy... Crazy RP you got here. anybody in there with you? Yes! Yeah. Some fellow by the name of Lawrence? Well, let's let's hear Lawrence. Lawrence, say something! 
Oh, I am Lawrence. Oh, There's Clifford. He was the hostage. Oh, yeah, Clifford! My name, my name is Cliff. Yeah. You hear me out there? My name's Cliff. Clifford! You all Cliff, hear him? Is you all right? Yes, we hear him. All right. Yeah, yeah well, right. a little Willow. bit shaken up, but I'm all right. Willow, hey, do you see this? Being dead. Do you see yes, the hostage? Yes, I see him. He's, he's on the floor. He's tied up, but he's, he's all right. Hostage. He's unharmed. So yes. that, that's three of y'all in um, there, hey, and the hey, hostage? Lefty, are you in mm -hmm. there? Oh, okay, Can, so... Uh, we help you, sir. <laughs> we need Lefty, you. Are you in there? Fuck, no. Go, Go on. Um, I, I, I just wondered if I... If it's okay if it's... I go in there and just... Sir, no, we're in the middle of the situation. You need to leave. Why the fuck would you go, go into on. a store where there's a robbery going on, dude? What the fuck? Only this room. Fuck you. You want to see rude? I'll slap you with obstruction and justice, sir. I'll slap you with the shit. Get the hell out of here. Shut the fuck up. Hey, fuck. Jesus, Jesus. come on. My God. All right, fellas. So you're saying there's three of y'all in there. I can see you by that door. Step back. Step right, back, or this easy, guy loses his head. Easy, easy. Let's be peaceful. It's gonna be all crazy, right. man. <laughs> All right, I All tell right. you what, is there any way I can convince you to let us have your hostage then? Well, we have a wagon now the back. The paper's not moved. We want to get in the wagon. We'll be off. I do Ten think that you probably, you Ten probably you will. Shut the fuck up! Sir, get off the balcony if you ain't involved in this. You probably Mr. will chase us, and I understand. But as long as Clear you street, let folks. us drop the hostage and we get There's on a, a wagon and on, we are off, I will not shoot anyone. But otherwise, it might be a bloodbath. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Never well, that, that is the last thing we want. Now I do understand you might you might let us drop stage, blah 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 blah. But as long as we get on that wagon and we are set off, then I'm happy as Larry. Whatever happens after that is not my. I told you not to say my position. real name. I told you not to say Larry. Oh. The fuck. Okay, okay. Well, I got all the bonbons and the money. Also, can I get clarification that the wagon is out the back? Hello. Oi, the Uh, yeah, the red one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. With the uh, two red showers. You did uh, red. One's yep. kind of round. Yep. So, can I? Okay, how are we doing this, huh? All right, Come well, here. whatever Clear entrance head. you're going to leave out, uh, bring the hostage out there. Okay, bring him out the back then. Come on. I'm bringing him out. All right, nice and right, easy. You can stop aiming the gun now, righty. Uh, maybe maybe aiming guns. Down. Don't aim your maybe, gun right. I'm bringing him over here. Your, don't aim the gun right. I'm bringing him over this way. Don't fucking do anything. All right, hey, you better drop him before here. you get on there. I right. will. Just so you're aware, I'm coming in behind uh, you. I am on okay. oh, James, I'm okay. helping pick him up. God damn. Right. You have to put me face down in the goddamn mud, boy. Jesus. Okay. Little help here. Yeah, we're going. He's good. You're good, sir. Yeah. yeah I'm so okay. sorry about that. Are you okay? Let's get you out yeah, of there. Yeah, yeah. Would you be willing to provide a statement afterwards? Well, Give I mean, us time uh, to chase them. I mean, I can, uh, right. I can tell you what, you know, probably as much as you already know, you know what they look like, but they just, uh... And they have their names, yes. Did you know these men previously? Or no, they just first, happened to snatch you? First time I was, I was, I was just walking out the, uh, the, the bar there, the saloon here, and, uh, I was gonna go and get a couple of dollars for a beer, realized mm -hmm, I didn't mm -hmm. have enough on me. All right. Well, do me a favor, uh, do you feel safe enough to do so? Get yourself around some friends in the saloon, and, uh, we'll be back with you in a moment, okay? Alright, no problem, no problem. I appreciate and you, what uh, is your name again? Clifford. Cliff, Cliff you Martin, you can, you can call me Cliff. Cliff Martin. Alright. I'm glad you're okay. Well, Go I'm have yourself a couple I'm drinks grateful. in the saloon. Where'd they take you from? Oh, uh, just outside the saloon, I, I come out the doors there, and, uh, this man's pointing a double barrel shotgun in my face and telling me to put my hands up. I got you. Okay, sir. Thank you very much, and...
Glad you're, hey, glad you're safe. Ain't no problem. Uh, Thank did, you for... Uh, they take any money off you? I don't believe so. No, I only had a dollar on me, okay. and I think it's still there. Okay, sir. Okay. Yeah, I've only got my dollar on me still. Okay. I shouldn't have left the bar I'm for a goddamn take... dollar to get a drink. <laughs> you, uh, you, they didn't take no items or weth off you? No, he asked if I had any, uh, sweeties. You know, he, he was asking mm -hmm. for bonbons. I said I ain't okay, got no bonbons. Just... I've only got baked beans and some bread, you know. I see, I see. Okay, sir. Uh, thank you much. No problem. I'll be over there in the uh, the saloon. I've got to steady my nerves. No, I kind understand. Of a, yes, sir. I'm, yeah. Stressful situation right there. Well, thank you, oh, officers, yes, and you. Uh, I hope you find them, them men. We'll do everything uh, we can. I got an idea where they went. All right. Well, yeah. If you need me, I'll be over there in the saloon for a while. Otherwise, um. I'm quite often over in uh, in roads, so if you need to uh, okay. to find me for anything else in the future, then you know you you can come find me there. All right, sir. Uh, we'll keep that in mind. Yeah, Thank yeah. The red much. the red mill saloon over there. All right. Okay. All right, Mr. Martin. You keep yourself safe. Thank you. You you take care out there, officers. Mm. <laughs> kind of crazy shit. And he's gonna be like, what the fuck? Where have you been? <laughs> I'm glad they weren't gonna try and rob me. I was thinking like, what the fuck, man? Like, I ain't got no money. You're, you're wasting your time for a dollar here. <laughs> you okay there, Penny? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm a little bit shaken up, but, uh, yeah, they, uh, those guys tied me up, but they didn't want to hurt me, I don't think. They were using me to... I'm so glad you're all right. <laughs> oh, thank you, Penny. It's okay, it's okay, don't worry about it. Don't worry, I'm, I'm, so all, scared. I'm all right. I'm so scared for it's you. It's all right, it's all right there. Oh, still so shaky. Oh. Oh my goodness. I'm just gonna get a couple of dollars so I can uh, buy myself a beer, stit in my nerves a little bit. <laughs> I bet you need it. Yeah, I kind of do right now. <laughs> I even got a drink. <laughs> I guess you must be uh, Clifford then. He is. Right. I'm so relieved. Sorry, for some reason I thought the bank was next door. Well, uh... Uh, what's going on here? Nice to meet you, Miss Clifford. Name's uh, Charles King. Yeah, yeah, sorry about that. I was having a problem with the banker here. Sure yeah, thing. my... My name's Cliff, yeah, you can you can call me Cliff. Yeah, you can, you can call me King. Are, are all you right, Miss Penny's friend? Yes, he is. Oh, yeah, well, I'm yeah. I'm so glad to see you're alright. What happened there? Well, I came walking out the saloon doors over there, and this man with a beard and a like some weird-looking hat, he pointed a double-barrel shotgun in my face and saying, "You get over here and force me into the the saloon, um, the saloon, the general store over yeah, there." General oh, jeez. Yeah, that was uh, that was Lefty. Wait, Lefty? Yeah, well, someone called Larry or something like that, and some Henry kid. Wait, so yeah. was it Lefty who pointed the shotgun at you? Well, he was the one pointing a shotgun at my face when I tried to enter the general store to see what the hell's going on. Oh, jeez. Oh. oh, he seemed like such a nice man. He was a beautiful singer and, and oh, an yeah, angel but... player. Did, did, I, I wouldn't have they, thought. Do you, do, you, do you remember now what I was wondering about? Well, yeah, I just wouldn't have ever thought. Yep, that's just sad truth we all have to do. Maybe with the, ah, I believe that it truly isn't a bad man. Yeah, you seemed like a nice fella and quite a shot with a, a gun, I guess. Now that sounds a little more menacing. Hmm. Yeah, well, he, uh, he didn't try and hurt me, no, nothing, but, uh, 
I felt kind of a little bit, you know, out of my depth there. Didn't have nothing to defend myself. And with, you know, three of them there, I felt like, you know, I gotta go along with this. Yeah, I'm feeling right there, brother. That sounds, that sounds I quite was just, scary. just glad that they didn't uh, shoot me or shoot nobody I'm trying to leave, you know? Yeah, about oh, yeah. things going uh, south real bad sometimes when there's hostages involved and I just didn't want to be one of them statistics, you know. Oh, statistics. Oh, yeah. Uh, what? Ha how about this? Would you like a, a, a drink at the bar to calm your, your nerves? I oh, feel like you uh, might deserve it. Yeah, that would be appreciated. Thank you very much, miss. Sorry, All what right, was your, uh, your name? Oh, Lolly. I, I work over at the Gloon over there. I just got hired last night. I'm new in town. Was that Lolly or Molly? Sorry. Lolly with an A-L. Lolly you know, like with a... Lollipop? Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like a lollipop. <laughs> yeah. Let's, let's go get you a drink. It's funny when I came out, I was just doing like Cliff's like normal speed walk like this kind of speed. And then he was like, get it, get your ass in the general store. <laughs> it's like stalling a bit. You want to take a seat and I'll, I'll, I'll bring it over to you. Would you like some stew as well? Oh, uh, yeah, that would be fine. Thank you. All right, I got you. Man, I hate Valentine's sometimes. Uh -huh. I've only been here like a few times and uh, every time I'm here something strange is happening, you know? Well, that's the worst for you. <laughs> yeah, well, I can say this about uh, roads. We ain't have much like that happen over there. Exactly. It's very quiet over there. Oh, that's probably because it's uh, a lot of lawmen around that, those parts over there. Mm. Yeah, I figured as much. Don't have much problem with them uh, them folks around there. Apart from that one guy who started a fight with me out the other day as I was coming into uh, the saloon, but I think that was over something else. He maybe mistaken me for somebody else. Well, thank you very much. Mm, could have been. Uh, what would your name be, sir? Oh, uh, might not be Cliff, if you see what I'm saying. Uh, begins with C, though, still. All right. Well, thank you very much. Let me get that whiskey for you. There you go, sir. Thank you. Oh, that's uh, it's a nice stew. Thank you very much. Oh, of course. <laughs> His arm goes behind him every time. I hope you weren't too worried about me there, Penny. I was, you know, uh, uh for a moment there, I was kind of worried. Well, and, uh, I was very worried, actually. I think I they kind of down. calmed down once the uh, the deputies got there. The one guy that he kept saying to me, you, you don't move, and I was saying, I'm not moving, I'm not trying to struggle wait, out wait, of nothing. Wait, come with me, Lolly. Mm -hmm. But uh, he, uh, you know, he, he trying to make, uh, make out that I'm moving and he's going to shoot me at any moment. And I was kind of thinking, oh my. this must have been a little very bit aggressive. like... Uh, well, yeah, I mean, it kind of reminded me of how my pa must have been thinking when those, uh, those bandits came up on him at the pig farm. And... Oh, that's true. It's kind of oh. weird, isn't it, that I was saying that to you uh, earlier on, and then there I am with a gun pointed to my face. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm just glad you're all right. I gotta go lay down for a bit, but I'm so glad to hear you're safe. Yeah, I appreciate that, Lolly. And uh, you ever want to come over to Rhodes and maybe uh, 
get yourself out of this uh, dangerous place around here you got you know we'll we'll always be around there in fact actually I'm gonna be running my own coach business for a while now and, uh, oh wow if you ever need a ride anywhere you uh, you let me know all right I'll, I'll keep that in mind and I'll, I'll be sure to stop by Rhodes and and check things out and check out your 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 establishment too, your parlor perfect yeah, yeah. um I, I don't know if I could work two places but I, I'll definitely uh keep keep the word out for you for, for oh, people looking you. for work so yeah. um, are y'all heading to roads after you finished eating and driving good night yeah, um, I'm probably gonna get myself, uh, was gonna buy myself a coach, uh, from the, the wagon dealer here. That's kind of why we was in town, really. That oh, and, see. uh, that and Penny here doing a bit of recruiting for the, uh, the guy who, who owned the place over there. Well, he don't own it, but he, he run the business down there. Theodore Johnson. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you've ever met the man. Uh, I'm not yet to have the pleasure. Well, I tell you what, I don't really have anything much to do here in Valentine. Figure I can just tag along with you down the roads. Well, yeah, if you were, uh, if you like, you could be my first customer. Well, sadly, this first customer doesn't have any money. Oh. Hey, ain't no problem. <laughs> I, I won't charge you. Oh, it would be uh, nice to have the company. Yeah, maybe uh, we can stable the horses here and uh, we all take the wagon over there. How does that sound? That sounds good. That sounds mild fun. I'll promise I'll uh, I'll go slow. I mean, I'm still kind of learning the ropes and the reins, I suppose you could say. You're really good at it already. Well, thank you, Penny. You might have kind. It takes some... Uh... Take some getting used to. Lesser horses, it's lesser horses, easier. Too many horses, oh, it's gonna be a pain. Yeah, you you're not the first person to tell me that. I'm thinking I'm gonna get myself one of them ones with uh, with two horses rather than four. The uh, the gentleman there, um, over at the wagon uh, place, he was saying to me, you know, you want a real nice wagon, you gotta get the one with the four horses, and I was saying to him, maybe it's little bit too much for me to handle at this kind of early stage in my career as a, as a coachman, you know. Oh, yeah, but, uh, I don't stand. I'm thinking I'm going to get myself, you know, uh, one of them two horse ones and have it at that. Maybe, maybe I'll get myself a four horse one eventually, but uh, I think two is just fine for the moment. Uh, the tip I would give you is... Uh... You gotta try to earn some good cash. I suggest uh, arranging a route up to the north, you know, for the uh, the bit more cold area. If you get my drift. Oh right, ain't never been up into the mountains. Yeah, Father well, Starbean is uh just sort of south of Cumberland Forest up there. Well, that's fake. You see, if you haven't been there. A lot of folks haven't been there. A lot of folks want to go there. Good um, opportunity. Yeah, I'm, I'm willing to go up there. I mean, I just uh, maybe need a bit, of, a bit more experience first before, you know, I try and go up somewhere I ain't been before. Hey, yeah, those uh, those paths can get quite kind of treacherous, you know. Oh yes, they can. Well, anybody uh, got anything else to do in uh, in town, or shall I go and make this uh, this purchase for this wagon? No, really. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm all set. All right. Let's see what this uh, fella has to say for himself. My yeah, mistake, sir. Real. Yeah, so that's that's some fun shit. <laughs> I don't know who the people were that held me up, but I'm actually I want to say to them that it was um it was 
it was good. It was one of those situations where like I felt in danger, but I've still kind of felt like you know they're not they're not about to kill me unless I try and break out or whatever. But there was no way I was going to try and break out in the middle of a store between three people who've all got shotguns. You know, <laughs> it's not the cleverest thing to do. Um, so where is? We're just going to pretend that we're getting out out here. So. Where's the marker? Have we got have we lost our HUD somehow? Uh Hello? I don't suppose it matters really. Um Actually, um let's stable our horse first because I don't want to just leave it in the middle of town. I'm just going to go and uh, get lucky and put him in the stable there before I uh, buy this thing here. Just gonna stable them real quick. I'll be right there with you, Penny. All right. Right. Let's see. That we're over here, brokering a deal. Call coach. There we go. Yes. There are all people ain't lucky in the West. Mm. Well, uh, <laughs> what do you think? That's a very nice way. So good. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm pretty happy with this. I look, bet you are. Look kind of like uh, Mr. Chopin's one there. I feel like uh, it'd be much easier to, for me to get used to this thing. Mm. Man was trying to sell me a four horse one, but uh, I said no, uh, no, thank you, sir. This feels just mm. about right. You let me know if I'm uh, going too fast for you back there or uh, you're feeling uncomfortable. I'll try and uh, keep the journey as smooth as possible for you. Of course. I'm, uh, I'm just gonna be in my own thoughts for a while. I'll be. Alright. Yeah, hey, uh, I'll ain't be no problem. Miles for some seconds. No worse. Ah, this is wonderful, Mr. Clifford. I can't believe you've got your own uh, wagon. I know, it's, uh, Kind of beaming ear to ear right now. <laughs> I feel like uh, maybe we should speak to my pa on the way home. That's a good idea. Yeah, hope he's uh, 
Hope he's actually there. Mm -hmm. I would like to meet him. <laughs> well, I don't know if uh, you'll be able to meet him, but uh, maybe oh, you have to talk yeah. to him through the door or something. But he still don't like talking to strangers, so can't guarantee oh, that he'll uh, can't guarantee he'll talk back. But mm, that's all right. <laughs> what what are we going to do? <laughs> we could, um, I don't know if we could put another voice on, make it sound like a two-way conversation between Clifford and his father. I'm not sure. I think maybe we just have a one-sided com conversation and, you know, have, a, have him look out the window. Oh, somebody's a uh, horse right here. Oh. I think it hmm. uh, maybe a local there have a have a problem. Cliff's got his damn wagon. It's looking good. Okay there, sir. I'm trying to think if it's um if it's down here and then to the right. If I go if I'm gonna go to the pig farm, I think we'll do that. to make sure there's no trains coming right now. Uh -huh. Yeah, that would have been a uh, uh, misfortune. Very. <laughs> yeah. We're just going to make a slight detour here. I just want to ride past my pa's place and see if he's in so I can show him what I've done with my life. He own the, uh, the pig farm down here, Mr. King. Oh. Oh, nice. Can't, uh, can't guarantee he'll be in there, but uh, just want to say hello to him. I'm sure he'll be happy to see you. Pa, are you in there? I know it's kind of late, but uh, if you in there, it'd be nice to uh, show you something I got out here. Yeah, he, uh, he, he a little shy, like I say, Penny. I'm, I'll just go inside and uh. see if he in there. You guys, uh, if you don't mind, uh, just wait out here for a moment. But uh, uh, all right. Hey, Pa, what you doing over there? Well, I know it's, uh, I know it's late. Well, I've just been involved in something actually you might be able to empathize with. Had a man stick a double barrel shotgun in my face earlier. No, I'm okay. Yeah, well, he, uh, he used me as a hostage. Take me into the general store over there in Valentine and truss me up like some pig ready for slaughter and then saying to me, if I move, he's going to blow my head off. 
anyway, that's that's besides the point. I'm all right. I'm all right. What I wanted to say, Pa, is that uh, got my wagon out there. You know, I was saying to you I was going to do that. So I wanted to prove to you that I'm uh, I'm a man of the world now. I'm gonna look after myself. I'm gonna make my own way in the world. Well, I know that. I'm gonna stay safe now, of course. Yeah, I know. I've got. That's why I picked up the piece, you know. Well, I know it's uh, late, but if you'd just come to the window and maybe have a look out, you can see uh, see what I got for my money there. But uh, yeah, you see, I told you I was gonna do it. Yeah, I can stop dreaming now. Start living. Well, thank you, Pa, and hopefully uh, next time I come by and it's not night time, maybe, you, maybe I can take you out for a ride or something, show you uh, I appreciate you and everything you've done for me over the years. And, you know, even telling me how, to, uh, how I needed to get out from under your feet there. All right, all right, Pa, I love you too. Okay, yeah, and I'll stay safe. Don't worry about me. Stay safe as well, all right? What have I said about Bessie as well? You gotta, you gotta stop feeding her so much. She's looking real big right now. You ain't fattening her up for slaughter, are you? <laughs> oh, I know, yeah, you... No, no, I know. I'm just joking. All right, Pa. Well, I'm going to get out of here, let you go to sleep. But, uh, yeah, I just thought I'd drop by and show you, uh, show you what I've been doing. All right. Love you. Okay, yeah, I'll shut the door. Don't worry. Don't worry. Well, he, uh... He weren't in the mood much for a visitor at this time of night, but he uh, uh seemed, he seemed pretty did, proud. Did he, he see it there? Yeah, he came over to look at look at it out from the window there. <laughs> Glad to hear it. I knew he would be proud of you. Yeah. Told him he had to uh stop feeding Bessie so much, it looked like he fattening her up for something. Oh, <laughs> Right, let me uh, try and get this thing backed up and we'll uh, head on over to Rose. All right. Yeah, I was thinking about doing a second voice for that, but um, I don't have another one up my sleeve off the cuff need something a bit more aged if you see what I mean like uh, an aged cliff might sound maybe well son so I'm mighty, mighty, mighty proud of you Co oh, I could have done something like that I'm oh, mighty proud of my uh, boy they're, they're actually not been anymore oh uh, uh, sorry to hear that it's alright they got sick on the boat um, when we went over here, so, well, I'm just on my own. <laughs> um, I never really knew my parents. Really? Yeah, they, they died when I was just a little boy. Oh, I'm sorry. They, uh, they were partaking the Underground Railroad. Oh. Both of them? Mm. Yes, very passionate. Mm. Or monk, of course. Oh, so he raised them? Oh, yeah. Uh, we'll raise them. I see. Ain't too bumpy oh. for you back there, is it? No, it's just fine. It's right. oh, that's good to hear. Uh, kind of 
work do you do, Mr. King? Oh, uh, uh, nothing right now, really. Uh, I used to go oh. back from Africa and study. What were you studying? Oh, uh, uh, the lands, the whole agriculture. Oh, I see. That sounds exciting. Oh, it was. Very exciting indeed. Hmm. I've seen a lot of things. I've seen animals. Bigger than a house. <gasps> animals? I I'm actually very interested in animals. I'm going to write a book about them. Oh, that's nice. Do you know what an elephant is? No? What's that? It's uh, these majestic giant creatures. Giant? They call them the kings of Africa. Ah, uh, uh, kings yeah. of Africa. And uh, you know how uh, you know how uh, bulls have horns. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, well, uh, the elephants they they have tusks, almost uh, like boars, but no, much much bigger. Want to go up that way, actually? <gasps> really? Yes, yeah, so and these elephants. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, but I'm just going to mode for a minute. Yeah. <laughs> long, long snow. Oh, oh, I, I think I've seen that somewhere in, in a book. So that's an elephant. Oh. Yes. My divine creatures. <laughs> oh, I would have loved to see one. Yeah, but oh, uh, are they sadly, dangerous? Oh, they are very dangerous. <laughs> But they're not uh, aggressive. Kind of aggressive. Like only if you go oh. too close to them, or if they have babies near, oh, they get aggressive. Cool but they actually share something like us humans. You know, they mourn the dead. When what? one of the pack dies, they uh, they cover the the body or I guess with branches, leaves, and everything, <gasps> and they come back from time to time to mourn the dead. Very beautiful. Oh my! Very. Sadly, the the large colonies, such as the Belgian side, they've taken kind of a custom to hunting these mighty fun animals. No, really. Yes, and sadly, they the grow less in numbers. Just to get the oh. ivory from the tusks to make jewelry and things like that. Oh, Very sad. Mm. Yeah, that is mighty sad. I don't know about you folks, but when the day when the day comes where I die, I don't want to get buried in the, in the dirt or nothing. Well, well, what will you do then? Here we are. Uh, I want to be buried in the sea or have my ashes just scattered in the sea. Oh, hmm. All right. So there, hopefully, I'll meet my ancestors who jumped the boats who got thrown off the boats. Hmm. Seems awfully quiet. Well, it is pretty quiet here. There we go. <laughs> what a fun step. Sure is. Ma'am. Evening there, sir. I think I might uh, crack open that beer that they uh, they gave me over there in the saloon in Valentine. I forgot I had it. <laughs> you do your step. Cheers to you, uh, Mr. King. Do you like 
something, Mr. King? Um, for the moment, right now, I'm, I'm fine. Ah. <laughs> Can I put a bit from somewhere else? He goes dead. <laughs> that was a really good ride over here. Hey, I'm uh, I'm glad we just didn't have nobody with a shotgun, you know, pointed in our face. Uh huh. Me as well. <laughs> yeah, ain't no, ain't no thing to worry about, Penny. Mm. Are I you guess, uh, actually going to uh, have somebody sit next to you with a, with a weapon or anything? I'll probably need to find someone that would be willing to do that. Mm-hmm. That Some would point. save. Safer, anyway. Yeah. I mean, I figure, you know, uh, I was going to get myself a shotgun of some sort at some point, but maybe now I need to do that sooner rather than later. Mm. Yeah, you you don't trust that, Penny. Yeah. She's the ultimate killer nobody suspects. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> she seems like a sweet girl. I guess I'm just kind of used to it all. Mm. Yeah, I, well, I guess uh, you have to be these days. There's a lot of people uh, riding around who, uh, you know, they're going to try and make uh, money by taking money instead of uh, having a, a legitimate job, I suppose. But, um, indeed. I think that's one thing actually Theodore was uh, looking out for sometime. I mean, if you ever thinking you need some kind of work or whatever and you feel like you could handle yourself uh, I think he was looking for some security for uh, the doors and so forth here the thing is I exactly. would like to avoid violence as much as I can oh I see yeah well I understand any other things you need doing Penny um, he was saying uh. to you about like uh Waiters and that kind of thing, maybe? Yes, but that's, that's uh, something we need as well. Well, I, I hope we can uh, get some people together soon. Um, it's a shame it's just he working here at the moment. I don't really have much time for my book, or... Studying yeah. animals at all? Hey, when when you used to fall your life with grit, sweat, and love, you can conquer anything. <laughs> yeah, I think you're pretty much right with that. See, Cliff already got his own wagon, and now can finally earn a living. Yeah, that's what my pa was saying to me before he uh. I was working for him there over on the pig farm and, uh, you know, for the longest time he was telling me I should uh, get out there into the world and do something for myself instead of uh, getting under his feet the whole time. He was only paying me a dollar a day as well because, you know, he ain't got much around anyway, so it's a hard, hard it job and it ain't much, hard it's pay. Work. Well, yeah, yeah. It is that. But he, uh, reason he don't like coming out and socializing with people basically he uh i was told penny this before but uh i don't don't like to repeat myself but you know you ain't heard but he uh he got held up one time when me and my mom were we were out of uh out of the farm and you know on business and uh came back and we found my father he uh cowering away in the corner and um Asked him what what had happened. It was the only time I think I've ever seen tears on the man's face. Although I think earlier on, actually, maybe he uh, he had one well enough when he saw my uh, my coach. But that's beside the point. He he'd been <laughs> held up by uh, some some bandits, and uh, they'd taken basically all the money he had saved up. He was planning on helping me out somehow and. So he gave me the last sort of 60 bucks that he'd kept like hidden away in a box he'd buried in the back there by the uh, by the pig farm. 
But uh, yeah, he gave me his last 60 bucks and he said, yeah, I had to promise to him that if I was going to take this money first off. I wasn't going to be living in that house anymore with him and, uh, you know, putting pressure on him financially like. And he gave me this money on the understanding I was going to go out there and try and achieve my own dreams. And I think I'm pretty much doing that right now. So the yes, thanks for the goal for the ones we love. Yeah, yeah, he uh, he's been through a hell of a lot, that man. I'm just glad he's still around to be my father. I'm glad he got mm -hmm. to see uh, the wagon, even if he uh, didn't want to come outside and show his face to everybody. Well, life ain't gonna get any easier for people like you and me. Yeah, uh, well, like you say, I mean, we, everybody have to work at, uh, at life, you know. Exactly. I think uh, Penny understand that as well as much as anybody else, you know. Uh, mm -hmm. Even even Theodore, the uh, the man who, oh, well, he don't really own this place, but, you know, he, he kind of run the, the establishment right now. He the manager around here. He, uh, I think he's, uh, you know, followed his dream from uh from being young also so i think you know so long as everybody's applying themselves you know there's not much in life you can't achieve if you don't put your mind to it that's right yeah children i think you could you could be right i don't know what kind of character um Chancey is playing uh, with. I tried to work uh, in a, the, the reason I won't work in a saloon as a waiter, that's because when I was down in Africa, I tried to work over at the saloon, you earn some extra dollars, you know, to buy supplies for one of the other villagers. However, the payment was not that great. It was uh, about 50 cents a day. Oh and then when I realized I was uh, paid on Fed was when uh, another man came in, asked for the same job, and he got paid three dollars a day. <gasps> That's such a difference. The only difference That's not between fair. the only difference between uh, me and that man was the color of his skins. That's ridiculous. It's a harsh world out there. Hmm. So sorry to hear that. Mm -hmm. At least we some progress in abolished slavery mm. but Tennessee still lingers I guess yeah I mean I've uh, come across the same thing over here in Rhodes a couple of times I think maybe that uh, that fella that followed me in the other day maybe that was part of it mm, might have been I don't know you know he he seemed like the type who have a chip on his shoulder about everything, though. But uh, I suppose you don't know the mind of every person, just as I don't. You never know. I always figure, Mr. King, you know, you, you treat people uh, the way you want to be treated yourself and can't go too far wrong in life. But uh, I I'll understand what you're, uh, people you're saying. There's a lot of people who don't uh, treat people the way they want to be treated themselves. They find a reason to dislike somebody, and maybe the color of their hair or the religion they they follow or whatever. But uh, you know, I think here here in Rhodes mainly we uh, we seem to have pretty good folk. But like I say, there's there's bad people all over. There's going to be bad people like you or I and Bad people like Penny or you know whatever. It's just how you uh, how you deal with those people and maybe try and educate them on the way through. Very so. That man's still walking over into that table. He does that every day. He sure is. It's a very strange fellow. I'll see if I can uh, help him move a little bit, maybe. 
Excuse me, they follow no. you. I do beg your pardon. Right, I'll, 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 pardon. Oh, sorry. Yep, sorry, oh. sir. All right. I, I do apologize. I apologize as well. Yeah. Now forgive me. You're kind of a uh, insistent. There, there we go. Yeah, you go. There you go. That's where the door was. You were you were struggling for that, weren't you, sir? You obviously had a long night on the uh, the old moonshine or something. <laughs> Probably. Probably. <laughs> what kind of uh, line of work would you be uh, trying to find anyway, uh, Mr. King? Maybe we can uh, try and help you find something. I appreciate the help, but I've yet to really think about anything. Well, I guess I'll just uh, do work eventually. Maybe, maybe I'll take up the office being God. I guess. I mean, you don't, you don't have to do that. I mean, it might be worth speaking to Look, Theodore I'm not, though. Or... I'm not, uh, I'm not prone to violence, but if it can't be helped, then so be it. Well, I mean, uh, it won't be like uh, you know shooting nobody. I mean, I, well, I hope it wouldn't ever oh, come to yeah. that. But uh, you know, just. Uh, if you are, you know, handy with your hands, you know what I mean? Oh, you yes, just, I'm uh, uh, very handy with my hands. Take some of them locals outside sometimes and just, you know, throw them out on the street and, you know, tell them to go sober up. You know, ain't, ain't too much uh, work involved, I would have thought, but... Uh, it's something, at least. Yeah, and uh, maybe, you know, if uh, I start getting a lot of p people, you know, needing rides over places, then uh, maybe you can be that guy up front with me. Sure thing, I'd, I'd, I'd like that. Yeah. Sure thing, I'll uh, try to speak with this uh, Theodore. Yeah, he uh, he had to go, uh, he had to go to sleep fairly, fairly fast tonight, but uh, he, uh, mm. he usually around for uh, a good while he uh, he would have been probably over there with us in Valentine maybe it would have been him having the shotgun pointed in his face instead of me right but, <laughs> perhaps you know fate works in mysterious ways I think indeed one thing I really need to do is get myself a knife and maybe a lasso or a piece of rope Oh, you could uh, you could probably get one of those from uh, from Way if he in town. Actually, you wanna we could show him where Way work. Oh yes. A yeah, man, uh, he uh, not sure where he's from, but uh, he a he pretty nice guy. He have an eye patch, and uh, he um he run the gun store over there. And uh, I think he spent his time between here and uh, here and you know Saint Denis, the uh, the big old city. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, he he spent a lot of his time over here and there, but uh, mainly he seemed to be around here quite a lot. He come in the bar here and you know get drinks and cigarettes and that kind of thing. But he uh, he does you know specials on secondhand weapons and that kind of thing. So maybe you know if you got a secondhand knife or or whatever, you could uh, you could get it for a little bit cheaper than you might buy a, a brand new one. You know, he was sharpening it yeah, up yeah, nice yeah, for uh, you, I expect. But then that's the problem again. Just need a way to find, get some money. Because, uh, sadly, I was uh, mugged the other day. I had some, uh, uh, I guess uh, <laughs> I've been unlucky. Oh, really? They take you uh, take you for everything you had, or you, you've got a little bit there? Uh, luck for me, I don't carry a gun belt, and they didn't really check my inner pocket for my pistol. Oh, that's oh. Uh, that's good, at least. Yeah, so at least I have my, my guns still. Yeah, yeah. So they uh they took your rope and your your knife then I suppose. Uh no, I I like had time to purchase those items. Uh, before so. I was actually about to buy them when the thing happened. Oh. <laughs> Table that things. <laughs> Two thousand. Sorry, when you just seen it. Right, yeah, I'm still alive. At least that's something. Well, exactly, Skin. exactly. Look on the bright side. <laughs> well, should we uh, go over see if Wei is uh, over there? Maybe uh, 
you know, if he's there, you you might, like I say, you might get a little bit of a, a deal on that. Sure thing. I mean, we could always go and check. Might as, might as well. Yeah. yeah, let's go. Now, uh, Theodore, he was saying to me that he hear the locals say that uh, they he they hear screams coming from uh, the basement over in uh, the gun store here, but I ain't heard nobody say nothing like that. So, but he he think way maybe you know. Oh well, I ain't gonna dig into. Uh... Uh, any trouble, so to say. Yeah, I mean, he uh, he seemed like a nice guy to me. I mean, every time I've spoken to him, he seemed pretty straight up, you know. Is he okay with having that large keg of gunpowder standing out here? I mean, look at that thing. Yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not sure why he keep that there. I'm sure one day someone's gonna have an accident with that, but. Uh, Well, looks like nobody's here. Ah, uh, that's a shame. Yeah, usually he around here, uh, either on the porch or inside here, just waiting for customs, but, uh... Hussy. I'm gonna actually go check the bank, because if I'm lucky, I may still have some money in there. Ain't no problem. I'm gonna check the general store actually. I uh, need to get a couple of Just things over there. Just be careful you don't get robbed again. Hello. Oh, I'll be alright, I'm sure. Yeah, well, no, I didn't get robbed. Um, we. <laughs> No, he, uh, I think he must be out of town at the moment, maybe over in, uh, St. Denis if he around, but, uh... Oh. Yeah, he, uh, he ain't here over in Rhodes, at least. I just came in to get myself some beans, maybe. Hello. Yeah, thank you very much there, sir. You have a good day. Thank you. That... Did that NPC just walk through the wall? <laughs> what the fuck happened there? I could have sworn you were you were inside just now. How did you do that, sir? <laughs> Where did Mr. King go? Oh, I think he gone to uh, he gone to the bank to check if he have enough money for a knife and a lasso. Oh, I see. Oh, there he is. I was lucky. I had just the right amount. Oh, That's perfect. perfect. There you go, my friend. You know, if uh, if you need to do any hunting or whatever to uh, to make ends meet, you know, you head out of town this way, uh, you know, pretty much straight there, down towards the uh, the red house over there. There's um, a bunch of little, well, there's a little uh, pond over there that uh, you know quite often I see uh, you know deer and bucks and that kind of thing drinking from there and. You know, it's kind of a good way to uh, get some uh, get some money, I believe. You know, a lot of people hunt. That sounds mighty fun. You can use a rope and uh, your knife actually to uh, to kill them, I believe. I've seen a couple of people oh. doing that. I've hunted animals before. I know how it's done. Thank you for the tip, though. Make sure to remember hey, that. No problem. Yeah, so we um we didn't um we didn't get robbed ourselves. We were we were made hostage um for a robbery. Um we walked out of the saloon basically, um and this guy had a double barrel shotgun pointed in our face <laughs> and said, um, yeah, you're coming with us kind of thing. He told me to go into the general store and then they started robbing the general store. Um, they tied me up and put me on the floor and then yeah, it was he was just shouting at me like don't move and you know Don't try and struggle and break free and be a hero or whatever like that But as I say Cliff's 
not the sort of person that's going to do that kind of shit. Um, but it was ironic because we were um, we'd been talking about Cliff's father and how that had happened to him at the at the pig farm just before, and um, do do, then um, <laughs> the same kind of thing happens to Cliff um, today. So yeah, well, I mean, we didn't get robbed, obviously, but yeah. Might actually uh, have to turn in myself in a moment here, but uh, oh, yeah, same been, here. Uh, been good to meet you there, uh, Mr. King. Play Solomon. And I'm sure if uh, you're around in the next day or two when uh, Theodore's around, he'll uh, be interested to meet yourself. Maybe he uh, have another idea, maybe, you know, where you can earn some money. He, uh, he always looking for people. I mean, he, he talk about this place over in France. I don't know if you ever know anything about that place, but, uh, saying he, he went there and seen some shows over there and he wanted to put some shows on over here. So, you know, customers and people come, come by on the regular. So, you know, they come to see the show and they have something to eat here. I mean, you know, if you're able to cook or even, you know, that kind of thing, maybe you could, uh, could help him out that way but um you know if uh maybe you could help him put some show on, shows on or you know be a part of the show he was asking me if i want to be part of a show at some point and i said um you know i don't really i don't really know what i'd be doing in that kind of instant there but uh you know he just say you just talk a little bit and maybe you know maybe do a dance or play a play an instrument or something like that so might be something to uh, to think about if you got any of those kind of skills. Also, he could uh, maybe pay you a, you know, if you want to be part of that. Sure thing. I'll look into it. Well, yeah, you uh, you do that. He's a he's a small. Well, he ain't too small, but he he probably shorter than both you and I. He uh, he's got like blonde hair and like kind of swept back over the top of his head and. Uh, Kind of look a little bit, uh, kind of look a little bit like a, you know some sort of cheeky little monkey kind of character, but he he uh, he a nice guy. <laughs> but yeah, he uh, he often wearing like a red shirt and uh, uh, tie and that kind of thing. But yeah, he uh, he around here a lot of the time, and you know he him him and Penny here been very good to me, and you know. I think he probably would be able to help out most people. Um, you know, in some way you can find something probably to do here. But uh, otherwise, I know uh, there's a few places you could do uh, delivery work and that kind of thing. Um, some guy actually I met over in Ballantyne a while back. He were he was saying about if you ever go up to Ansburg, there's a gentleman there who ask you to do a delivery which can get you about 40 odd dollars a time but uh kind of treacherous work he's saying so you know it, <clears throat> it might be uh something to consider sorry didn't mean to cough cough at you there <laughs> no worries <laughs> thanks for the tips i'll make sure to look into it yeah ain't no problem anyway uh you take care mr king i was just gonna say penny i'm a uh, I'm probably needing to go to bed after all uh, that excitement earlier on and you know the ride over here has kind of That's left me a little bit tired holding the reins but uh, you uh, you take care of Mr. Tired King myself. here and hopefully we uh, yeah, we see you in the next few days. Yeah, well, hopefully you'll see me around. I'll see you around. Yeah, you take care out there Mr. King and uh, you take care there also Penny. Don't be going to no uh, no saloons the... and getting no shotguns pointed at you, all right? All right, I won't. Hey, don't get upset, Penny. It's okay. It's okay. I'm still here, you know. We're all uh, we're all still breathing. That's the main <laughs> thing, right? And I got all uh, got all the things I came into town with, so ain't no problem for me it just you know a few people have to do their thing in order to make money the way they want to make it but at least they didn't take none from me and they didn't take my life so that's the main thing in thing you know in the in <laughs> the grand scheme of things let's say 
Well, I'm going to uh, sneak out the back door and uh, go over to my uh, my little place and lay down my head. But uh, as I say, Mr. King, it was a pleasure to meet you. And yeah, I hope you uh, you find some work that uh, would be suitable for you in uh, whatever respect it is you want to work in. Sure thing. Place is all mine. I'm also going to turn in for the night. All right. Now, uh, y'all take uh, care. And try to stay on Trump, Vinny. I will. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you as well, huh? Yeah. Don't get no shock upon in your face. No. I'll try yeah. not to. <laughs> all right. Yep. Well, Good I'll night. see you around. Bye. Well, I'm going to uh, head over to the, uh, the shack there and lay down my head, Penny, but, uh, yeah, you, uh... All right. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know how you feel. <laughs> kind of takes, sap, sap the energy right out of you, doesn't it? It does. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, I'll see you hopefully tomorrow and, uh, maybe we can, uh, tell Theodore, maybe we, uh... Next time we all go over to Valentine, maybe one of us need like a shotgun ourselves. Uh, yes, that would actually be a good idea. Yeah, I'll start saving up, uh, I suppose. All right. <laughs> all right, you take care, Penny, and uh, you have a good sleep. You all right. Too. You as well. <clears throat> Oh, that's really good. I'm I'm actually really glad to have been held up. <laughs> I know that sounds like crazy, but um, it does give you like the whole sort of feeling of making progress with the story and everything like that. And you know, we got our wagon and our coach, and um, yeah, we've we've had a good night of it. But yeah, the um. The RP was good. That guy, Mr. King, I'm not sure who that was actually. We'll have to have a have to have a look at some point. I think he was number 37 on the menu when I glanced before. Zezola. But um yeah. Seemed like a nice uh, nice guy and has his heart in the right place. Yeah, we're just gonna stroll on over to the uh, to the hut. Our little uh, ramshackled shack. That um, I think I think it's supposed to be burned out. If you see what I mean, I'm pretty sure in the story um, this got burnt out at some point. Um, but. It's weird because in um, I'm pretty sure in multiplayer when I've been to this particular um, like spot up here, this isn't all burned out like this. Um, so they have a guy standing there doing a mission um, a lot of the time. I think um, like one of those stranger missions where you go and they give you like a a deed to go and pick someone up and bring them back or um, kill someone. Sometimes, well, quite a lot of the time it's to kill someone, <laughs> but. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the porch over here. Story don't matter. Multiplayer is dead. Yeah, I I had an unfortunate um, incident the other day when I decided to play Red Dead Online for the first time in ages, and um, I just thought I'd log in and you know have a bit of fun. And I was messing around for about um, I was messing around for about. 40 minutes or so just waiting for the moonshine um to uh to finish brewing and um it finished brewing and i thought like i'll just um i'll just deliver this and i'll log off kind of thing and as soon as i started the delivery mission um i got blown up by some unknown player um it didn't even come up with a name it just said you blew up and i was like oh right okay and I respawned, and obviously my wagon and everything had been blown up in that same process when it started the mission. And then I got blown up again, and I was like, oh, for fuck's sake. So there's a modder in the lobby. And I was thinking just, like, leave the lobby. And then 
as I was about to leave, uh, I noticed that my cash and my gold had gone. And I was like, oh, for fuck's sake. So I put in a ticket to Rockstar Support because I was like, I had about six six thousand dollars or something in on my character um, and a hundred and something gold bars. And it was just like it was gone. And I was like, fuck, what am I going to do? Because like that's all what I've been saving up for, you know, when online becomes playable again. Um, but yeah, I got on um, and was like, this is fucked. Um, oh, freaking Moses, thanks for the follow, man. Um, I didn't notice um, if you're still there, man. Like, thank you. Uh, thank you for the follow there. I've been meaning actually to pop by. I think, I'm not sure actually, I think I have followed you. I know you play a couple of characters on the server as well, but um, yeah, thank you. Uh, thank you for dropping by. And uh, if you're still there, hope you've had a, an enjoyable night and so on. Um, but yeah, I, um, I came out of the came out of the um, moonshine shack and was just like um, let's do a quick save pause actually as well um, and I came out of the moonshine shack and I was just like oh this is stupid like this guy had killed me twice and I rode back over to the moonshine shack just to see if I could like restart the moonshine again so I could log off but yeah the gold and the um, thing um, my money wasn't there and I was like shit well you know we'll, we'll have to um, We'll have to put in a support ticket, and then I restarted the game, like deleted cash and everything like that, and then logged back on, and um, the money and everything was back in my account. Um, so I don't know what it was, like whether they'd managed to like hide your money or something somehow. Um, but yeah, it was it was like panic over basically. I was like, thank God. <laughs> but um, I knew the. I'm pretty sure I saw the person that had done the modding and, on, and the hack because um, I <laughs> I went back to the moonshine shack um, as I say to like start another moonshine um, going and this guy rode past me at like full speed and then stopped and slowed down um, just a little past the moonshine shack and he turned into a deer right in front of me and then the deer just disappeared in the middle of the road and I was like yeah, so that guy's modding, okay. Um, maybe that was the hacker, but I didn't catch his name or anything, so I couldn't put in a report to say that it was this guy or whatever, but yeah, it just seems like um, Red Dead Online is kind of like, like you say, it's a bit dead until they sort out their, their anti-cheat and all of that kind of caper. But um, yeah, we're, um, we're at that stage of the night now where we're going to just log off and... Uh, and go to sleep um, but yeah it's been uh, it's been an eventful one that's for sure <laughs> um, and it certainly has like furthered um, our storyline because now Cliff's been through the same kind of thing his father went through when um, his father father was a victim of bandits at the uh, the pig farm and um, yeah it's just generally um, it's helped to give us a little bit more to the story and so forth and a little bit more depth to Cliff and and some of the things that he's been through and, and experienced in life because um, he didn't experience the the robbery of his father um, as I said like he was out on business with his mum when it happened um, so he's never had a gun pointed in his face until that that incident just there and obviously it's um, shaking him up a little bit today but um, he still remains positive and he still believes that people are capable of good um, and that if you treat people with respect and so on you will most likely get that kind of thing back from them unless they're a really nasty person and it's not he doesn't look at it as though like those people did it because of any kind of particular reason that's just how those people are and that's how a lot of people will be it doesn't matter what race religion or you know anything else you want to pick out it's just how people are unfortunately there's bad people and good people in the world and cliff is a good person um and you know he's going to try and treat people as as best he can until they give him reason not to and then he's just not going to deal with those people anymore um so yeah if he sees those guys in town again obviously he's not going to fraternize with them or get involved or anything but he'll be wary that you know those are the guys that want to um want to rob people so just be a bit more cautious about things in life. 
Um, we say my experience with Rockstar used a non-standard client once. They'll ban you any chance they get. Yeah, um, Kuda's experienced the same thing. He had um, a glitched fish in his inventory, um, and then he sold it at the butchers, obviously along with the other fish, or tried to, and it stayed in his inventory. So he sold it a couple more times, and um, they banned him for basically a glitch with their own game. Um, which seems kind of crazy, really, but yeah, like you say, they they will find any reason to uh, to ban you um, because they figure that you're going to just buy the game again, which <laughs> is yeah, it's a weird way of thinking, really. But there's enough people that you know do that on GTA, so why wouldn't it be the same on uh, on Red Dead? But anyway, as I say, let's um let's have a little look and um, see whether or not we've got any people that we know live I haven't got a I haven't got a window open for things so let's just go on to Twitch let's see if some people we know are live right now and I'll try and post someone or send you over to them and again, like I say, thanks everyone for dropping by. Thanks for the follows and stuff. Sorry if I've missed it, you know, whilst uh, whilst things have been going on. Um, Jugs is live at the moment. Um, let's see who else. He's just chatting at the minute. I'd like to host someone that's actually streaming. Um, and hopefully someone that's streaming like... Um, Wild West RP stuffs. Uh, I tell you what, it's his birthday today, so I'd really like it if everyone can go over there and say a big hello to me. Go to my own channel. Um, do 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 do. So if you can all pop over to, when my computer catches up, here we go. If you can pop over to Kado, and wish him a happy birthday, because it's his birthday on, it was his birthday on the third. Um, obviously it's close to like midnight now, but, um, I'm going to um, do a quick raid on him and hopefully, as I say, you guys will drop by and um, wish him a happy birthday as well because he's a stand-up guy, he's an ex-Counter-Strike player as well, like I am, so it's nice that um, yeah, he's, uh, he's that kind of dude. Got a bit of a shared history, so yeah. If you want to raid him up and um, drop in and say hi, if you don't already follow him, follow him because he's a great up here. Um, but yeah, top guy, birthday as well. So as I say, please give him a happy birthday, and um, I will see you guys tomorrow, and hopefully uh, we get some more quality RP in like we have tonight. All right, thanks guys, and um, you all take care out there. I'm going to end this now and then we'll uh, we'll start the raid. Good night. Night night chill man. Thanks for being here as well buddy. <laughs>